And I think the last thing to do now before we start QT is just to clear up some of the remaining dependencies. Um, so I've got libtiff next. And this needs to be rebuilt after we've installed libwebp and libjpeg turbo. So I'll move that here to remind me to do that. Let's fetch. the package so there's no extra options to provide to configure so we'll just build it straight away run some tests and install it okay so i'm not going to shut that tab down yet as i say it needs to be rebuilt so next we're going to go to libjpeg turbo which is that one so we've got nasm installed as a recommended package already So make the temporary build directory, copy the configure command in, and I'm going to add this extra switch here for more compatibility. Compile it. Run some tests. And finally install the package. So that's done. Next I've got libwebp. So you can see we've got all these um, dependencies installed. We haven't got these two optional dependencies. Um, what have we got here? No extra options, so I'm just going to copy and paste this completely. Okay, and install it. There's no tests to run. Okay, and now I'm going to go back and rebuild libtiff to take account the fact that we've got those two packages installed. Is it just called tiff? Yep. 
So again, just copy this completely. Run some tests and rebuild. Uh, sorry, install. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing we've got is libmng. That needs little CMS. We've got libjpeg turbo now. And this needs lib libjpeg turbo and libtiff. So we've got both of them. Okay, there's no extra options here, so I'll just run this set in, run the configure and make. Run some tests. And now we'll install the package. All done. And now we can install uh, libmng. Okay, so there's no other extra options for the configure, so I'll do the configure and make at the same time. And that's complete. Let's become the root to install these last commands, and that's done. Okay, so what we can do next, we've got Jasper next. So the recommended required dependencies have been fulfilled. So let's get the package. Uh, so just that one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it extracts to a different directory than the name of the file. Uh, have we got anything else here? No, we'll just copy this all in as one. Run some tests. Okay, and now let's install the package and tidy up. So that's that one done. Next we've got, uh, let's have a look at this again. Okay, looks like this GST plugin base, and we need GStreamer for that. 
Uh, we've got Elsa Lou, we need CD Paranoia 3, which incidentally is a requirement for Myth TV. Um, object introspection, I'm sure we did that one. Yeah. Uh, ISO codes will need libgudev, libjpeg turbo we've got, libog we've got, png we've got, libciora, libvol, this means a pango, pango will need. We've got Wayland protocols and XORD libraries, we're not going to worry about anything else. Uh, it does need Qt, but that's just for example, so that's not a circular dependency. So that's fine. Let's go to Pango. And that needs Cairo as a recommended package. Now it's interesting because I'm sure there were some packages earlier on that needed Cairo. So it's interesting if I ever do this again, I have to uh, check that out. I think I will go through this again because I'm, I'm starting to think, I wonder if there are some of these packages that aren't absolutely necessary, but I'd have to do some more testing for that. So Cairo has got a dependency for libpng and pixman. I think we did pixman, yes. Font config we're done, libgili we're done. We've got the xorg library, so we're good to go here. Okay. So adapt this package to build with the latest version of bin utils. Another fix. And we've got a config command here. Enable T, enable lib. Okay, yeah, so I did enable this. And I did enable this as well. So let's run that. And have a quick look. Yep, that looks good. Okay, XML's disabled, that's interesting, but um oh, LibXML two uh, might rerun this and add that in. Being as we've got that. Um if there is a failure that meaning that it re relies on something else which is possible but I can't see anything else that's related really to XML there. Um, yeah let's enable it now. Then I'll just build without it. So make Okay, so that's finished building. There's no test suite, so we'll run the install.
and that seems to have worked fine so let's tidy that up shut that down and now we can build Pango Got any explanations here? No, I think we can copy this as it is. So we've not got any API documentation to install, so we've got some tests to run. It says two tests and known to fail. And there they are, font and layout, so that's expected. So Ninja install, that's complete. And we'll tidy that up. And that's Pango complete. So the next one we've got is libgu dev. So we've got glib, we've got that as an optional anyway. Um, okay, this asks for GTK doc equals true if we want the documentation, but I haven't got any notes saying that we had to explicitly disable it as I had, had to with one or two previous packages. So that's okay. Ninja test, run some tests. No test defined, it said. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just do an ins maybe, maybe there's some of these, yeah, there's these or well, that UMock dev is needed for testing, so that's why there's nothing to, to test. libgu dev is complete, and we move on now to ISO codes. All right, okay, that's interesting. That's not there anymore. Is that because Debian's just been updated? So this is not in the main. Uh, I bet that's why. So what I shall do is copy that, paste that into there. And we've got version 4.12.0 here. It looks like 4.15 is the latest version. So I'm going to have a go at installing 4.15.0. Um, could probably get, if you really want to install, yeah, maybe I should stick with the old one. Um... Debian archive, that's where we need to go. Archive. Uh, okay. Page not found. Um, is it archive debian.org then? Yep, is that it? Yeah, Debian. So it's archive debian.org, Debian, Pahool, main, go to the letter I, 
look for ISO codes, which will be somewhere near the bottom. ISO codes, and we're looking for version 4.12.0. Let me cancel that. Four. Oh, that's not there either. Oh, that's interesting. Debian pool main. Right, I haven't gone to the right place, have I? Dists. Let's try that. Uh, previous one was called. It's not there. Okay, um, in that case, I'll just stick with the newer version. Um, or the other th alternative thing to do is to copy the name of the file and see if we can find it elsewhere. Uh, okay. Uh, no, that's right. We want to find that. No, we don't. We want ISO codes. There we go. So it's reliably at this uh, Oregon State University um, mirror. So that's handy. And we wanted 413... 412, sorry. Let's get rid of these. So it's that one there. So I assume these ones are the latest versions that are being used in the current development of BLFS. So let's get the correct version. Be a bit more reliable. That's better. So let's extract it. So configure and make. We're not installing over a previous version, so we can ignore that note and we'll just Oops. Run make install. And that's complete. Uh, no, it's not that, is it? It's dash. Okay, so the next one is CD Paranoia 3, and as I said before, this is a requirement for Myth TV anyway. Um, oh, there's also a patch here. It says this package does not support a parallel build. So there's no other options for the configure. We'll take what the editors have given us. No test suite. So we'll become the root and run make install etc. And that's done. Okay, now we can move on to GStreamer, as we have all the required and recommended dependencies. Okay, no extra command. To add on to the Meson command, no extra options. 
So we'll just copy and paste all of that. Okay, that's all complete. Run some tests. So they're all done, everything ran and passed except for one test that was skipped. So I'm not gonna run this command because it's only overwriting about it's about overwriting previous versions. So we'll just install this package and that's done. Okay, so now we should have everything in place for GST plugins base. So let's copy the URL and download the package. Just double check everything looks familiar that we've installed. Yep. Uh, have we got any extra commands? Wrap mode, no download. Okay, no, there's nothing extra there. So I'll just copy and paste all of these commands in one go.
Okay, it's finished. Now it says here this test will fail on the GL test without an X terminal. So what I'm going to do is to run it without initially. Okay, so there's those failures. Um, so what I plan on doing is, what do we have? 5th, 13 failures and 21 was skipped. I'll just make a quick note of those results. So there's 85, okay, 13 failures and 21 skipped. I'm going to push this directory, let's go back to BLFS and I'm going to start QT downloading because it's quite big, uh, 629 megabytes. So while that's downloading, I'll run the tests actually on Uh, the machine itself which you obviously won't be able to see and I'll report back how that fares um, let's see what it says here. updates was... ok the required patch yeah. so I'll get that downloading and I'll get on the terminal which is right next to me and log in Change to sources, BLFS, and we're doing G Streamer plugins base. Uh, 
GST plugins base build and I'll run ninja test. Uh, in fact, I should be doing this in a graphical terminal, of course. So CD sources BLFS GST plugins build ninja test right so started I'll report if anything does appear on the screen as the test runs Right, there's a, a window that's appeared, another window, and they've been closed. Okay, that was better. I've got two failures, and I think one might be because it took a bit of time um, acknowledging the window. So it does say um, five tests may produce timeouts on some systems depending on the graphics, hardware, and speed. So I've got two, well, I've got 96 that passed, so that compares with 85 originally, so it's 11 more. Uh, I've got two failures, so it's the 11 that failed and the number skipped hasn't changed at 21, so, and also it ran a lot quicker as well because it obviously wasn't trying to connect to the display, so that sounds pretty good to me. I'll shut this down and when this is finished I'll tidy it up. And then the last thing what we're doing for the moment is to run QT, which is going to be several hours long. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'll pop back to where I was and run Ninja install. And that should be that now. Okay. Right, I've just been reviewing uh, some of the videos that were recorded in preparation for publishing them. And um, before I carried on, I just noticed that uh, Libx KB Common should have been installed um, and it would have actually caused a problem with QT not working. So I'm going to show you um, the installation of Libx KB Common and insert that into the right place in the videos um, and then it should mean that everything will work fine because as it stands it wouldn't uh, QT wouldn't work properly. I thought when, if you remember, if you go back to the QT video, you'll see that I questioned Libex KB Common not being there, and I've just found uh, some of my other notes saying it should have been there. Um, so I'm going to unfortunately have to do it manually because I've got the connection up on the actual terminal uh, itself. Um, but apart from that, it shouldn't be any different. So normally this would be on the remote PC, um, which I'm not doing, but if you're following along, then this would be in the middle of the build normally. So I'm going to go to the sources directory, BLFS. I'll just check, I'm sure, XKB 
yeah, it's not there. So wget https colon forward slash forward slash xkbcommon.org forward slash download forward slash lib xkbcommon dash one dot five dot zero dot tar dot xz so I'll extract that xkb common and all of the requirements are in place X, X, by the time I insert this X keyboard config will be in libxcb Wayland Wayland protocols and the oxygen is an optional one which obviously we're not using so mk the build cd build and the command to configure this is meson minus minus prefix equals full slash user and build type equals release and minus d enable docs equals false dot dot so just double check that prefix is important one make sure it goes in the right place build type equals release d enable docs equals false yep then build that with ninja some tests and then ninja install to install it so what I'm going to have to do which I won't do the video on is the rebuild of Qt because Qt does need this but obviously this is being inserted so when you come to build Qt as long as you've done this and you've got yes against libx K kb common at the config stage then uh, it should all be okay